it is time for evolution. <laughs> we welcome you to the Ghana Off family. So I got you guys with the tutorial on hands. So feel free to check that out. Tell me what you think about the video at when you're finished on hands and yeah, peace. And so right now I'm showing you guys the extender side of the hand. And so it's called the extender side of the hand because my fingers are extending. This is where things extend, as you can see. And so as I flip my hand, you're seeing my palm. Now my fingers are flexing. This is called the flexor side of the hand. All right, so right now I'm just gonna divide the hand into three basic shapes. One for the palm section, one for the thumb section, and one for the finger section. Right now I have the palm, and I'm currently doing the, the finger section at the moment. And you see, you can see how I have that line, that curve that's dividing the finger and the palm there, which I'm like highlighting there a little bit. And right now I'm going to be uh, doing the, the thumb opening. All right. So now I'm just going to be uh, just doing, do, drawing the four uh, fingers, like in, a, in just a basic way. Later on, I'm going to like go more into like detail and like refining them even more. So. You know, right now, like, so you, the line that divides the palm and the finger portion is where I'm going to draw my knuckles, okay? And so, as I'm drawing my knuckles, be be sure to make sure the middle finger is more prominent because the bone is more dominant there, all right? And so, you know, I'm just going to go in a little bit and just... And so right now, I'm just going to, like, finish up the thumb. Just finish up drawing the thumb. And then I'm going to move on to to uh, the arm portion of the hand. And so there's this bump that appears at the side of the pinky finger that you want to pay attention to whenever you're, draw you're, whenever you're drawing. And if you want to complete the, the other section of the arm, you know, you can align it with the, uh, with, I guess, the knuckles, you know, or you can imagine like a, a, a gun finger, you know, you know how, you know, you Hagashio has that, that gun finger and you're doing a poo poo poo, you know. The, that's that's where you want to like kind of align align it close to and so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this uh, this up with uh, fingernails and so the fingernails are are, are square shape uh, it also depends on the angle really so yeah it depends on the angle and just to show you guys a visual example I'm using a pen to highlight uh, where the direction of the fingers are going and so like the fingers or the, the, the palm portion of the hand is going up, uh, is going downward. So outside is going downward, inward is going uh, up towards the, the thumb. And so I'm just making a little bit of, uh, you know, corrections, you know, here and there. And I just wanted to show you guys like the difference uh, and, the, and the curve that's appearing on the top portion of the fingers and the, the lower portion of the, the palm section. And also the bend marks also form this curve. So where the finger bends, uh, draw it looking like the curve. And also right here, uh, I wanna show you guys the thumb, the top portion of the thumb knuckle aligning with the other knuckles that are on the, the the palm portion of the hand so the thumbs the thumb i'm drawing right now i'm like kind of highlighting and i'm showing you like the thumb that it also has that curved motion going towards it you know so have the thumb the top of the thumb you know be aware of the curved mo motion that aligns with the thumb And so right here, I forgot to mention it. And so these are the two versions of what you will see with the fingers, depending on the style. So the first one with the M, that one is the male. And the first, the, the second one with the fee, with the F is the female. And so you can see the, the F is more of an oval for female. And the, uh, the M is more a structured uh, square shaped. Okay. But the bottom portion always has like a, a U or <clears throat> you know a curve at the bottom while it's straight at the top for men and so right now i'm just drawing the basic uh basic shape of the finger you know i'm just adding a little bit of uh adding a little twist to it like i'm bumping up the, the thumb portion more you know 
And so right now I'm drawing the, I guess the butt portion of the finger, uh, and the the butt portion of the uh, the palm. I mean, and this one is like the, the the top portion of the palm. So the bottom part of the palm, and this is the top part of the palm. You know, the top part of the palm. There's a little bump at the side that you that you see that I drew there, and you know. The top part of the palm, you can look, you can look at it as like an upside down bird, and the bottom portion is like the, the butt portion, the butt portion of the of the palm, I guess, if you want to think about it like that. And so right now I'm just drawing the, the fingers right now, and so I'm going to show you guys that you know the fingers there they align inward, you know, and so right now I'm, I'm right now I'm showing you guys like measurements. You know, so if you want to measure it co correctly to see if you have your correct measurements, uh, you could draw a line in be in in like the the middle portion of the palm just to see where everything aligns to see if you like just got it correctly. And so right now I'm just uh, I'm just gonna show you guys like uh, how the fingers are curved to get together. So right now this was just a a quick little thing that I showed so you can see how the fingers are all curving towards this middle finger okay because the fingers are all curving towards the middle finger and also there's a uh, as, as you go down towards the, the middle there's this uh, this near the arm there's a vein popping out near the near the center Alright, so right now I'm just going to be showing you guys just another tip on drawing the hand. And so I'm going to start with the basic shape of the hand right now. And what I'm doing here is I'm making a cross point just to get the, just to get the alignment right. Or you can call it like an axis point. So what I'm showing you right now is like the three fingers and how the three fingers are aligning with my arm, you know. So I'm going to show that through the drawings. So right now I'm making the, the bumps on the on the bottom wrist, yeah, on the bottom portion of the hand, which are the wrist. So the three fingers right here, they they're aligning right now with the arm. So I'm just going to show that. I'm going to draw that. You're going to see that. And so you can see how the three fingers are aligning with my arm here, okay? And so outside of the arm, you're going to come across, you know, the thumb portion, and then you're gonna come across the the uh, the pinky portion of the of the hand, okay? And so what I'm gonna do here is like just shade it just so that you guys can like uh, see um, just the, the alignment of the three fingers in the center you know but uh at the moment i'm using my fingers and i'm pointing it like all all the fingers are aligned to the middle finger they're going towards the middle finger they're curving inward towards the middle finger okay and so yeah and so right here i think i'm going to go on to, to actually shade the, the pinky and the thumb just to show you guys how you know the three fingers in the middle are aligned, are aligning with the the arm, okay, and the and the thumb and the pinky are outside. All right, so right now I'm just gonna show you guys a little cheat code on how to make fists. So right now the, we're making a fist and it's looking um, looking as if it's you know punching at us, right? So. Again, the, there's this curved pattern on the fist that you want to like pay attention to. Is going like, yeah, is is, is making this uh, this wedge like downward when it goes like outside. So right now I'm making the knuckles above where the the rectangular uh, red wedge is. Right. So these are the knuckles that you want to like pay attention to. So what I'm doing, the first one is square, triangle, circle, square. Okay, so this these are the shapes you want to keep in mind when you're when you're making the uh, 
the knuckles. You know, square, triangle, circle, square. That's a cheat code. Okay, so the index finger is a square. The middle finger is more of a triangle. Um, that other one is a circle and the pinky is a square. Okay, so keep that in mind. And so when you're making the fist, uh, the two fingers are being pushed up while the two other fingers in the back are being pushed down. Uh, and also there's a, a slant that goes on. So you can see how I, I, I slanted the, 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 the fingers in between. You know, it, it's not like one straight line, but it's like it's like a, a slant, you know, because my thumb is pushing it inward. You know, that's why it's doing that. The thumb is pushing it inward. So right now, I'm drawing the thumb right now, okay? And the thumb connects to the, 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 the middle finger. It doesn't go to that third finger, but it goes to the, to the, to the middle finger, okay? And, and you know, you, you just finish it up. You finish it up with, uh, with the nails and whatnot. And then you finish it up with that, uh, that, that butt part or that lower part of the, of the hand, you know? And so I'm just, I'm just cleaning it up a little bit and the lines that you see for the two fingers that are going like sideways and not like straight but because the thumb is pushing it inward, you know, and I'm also marking the two thumbs as one, two. So I'm just gonna like, just highlight it a little bit so that you can clearly see what's going on, you know, why it's doing that. So right now I'm making a fist with my actual hand. And as I like really make the fist, you can see how like, uh, the two thumb, the two, uh, the index finger and, and the middle finger are being pushed up and the two lower fingers are being pushed downward, you know? So that's usually, that's like a genuine, uh, that's like a genuine uh, fist right there, you know? All right, so these are like all the extra examples. Uh, this is for like another time. So right now I'm just happy like, an example of the thumb, you know, being aligned with a brachialis muscle, but you know, it, it goes into detail when you study when you study anatomy, and also matching matching the uh, the width of the fist as well, you know, and also in terms of like measurement. So let's say you want to measure like the the thumb, the bottom knuckle of the thumb to the middle portion, just to get that alignment right. It, it's good to like uh, you know just measure the the middle and the bottom portion to just to have just to understand that you have that uh the alignment right the proportion of the the hand right and so right here i'm just i'm just showing you a little bit of examples of an adult hand baby hand and teenager hand the differences so it gets more into detail you know so yeah <laughs> 